everybody welcome back to the channel it is like it here and in today's video we're gonna be looking at the new halloween update that came to dinosaur arcade this came like a day ago or so normally i kind of am late to these updates i mean i'm just living up to my name that and i also want to make sure everything is in the update or oh, i'm just busy overall so yeah i hope you guys do enjoy today's video i will be showcasing and talking about the stuff that came in the update i will be also making a video on how to easily get the candies in the dinosaur arcade in a separate video since that's something i want to focus on in a separate video so make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and also like this video if you guys want more and let's go ahead and get right into today's video without further ado okay so starting off i want to talk about what exactly came into the update and then we'll look at some of the stuff that came so we have six skins including i think two or three patterns on some of the dinosaurs and we also have some pumpkins that spawn in the map which you can get the crates from if you have a lightning strike the pumpkin and the dodo spawns out of something and it's also very interesting because we do have a dodo so whenever the pumpkins get striked there will be a dodo and it looks pretty cool maybe it's a sneak peek of something that might be coming to dinosaur arcade now of course that's not planned on the list it's just an event but i think it's pretty cool if they eventually added a dodo or something like that even though it's kind of not related in a way i mean it looks more like a mammal than a dinosaur so i'm just saying it looks really cool and it would be really exciting if they actually added a dodo into the game um but then we also have six halloween skins i'm pretty sure i already said that and they are from all the halloween crates there's also candy which you can attack these pumpkins right here to get the candy and those are basically all the main things that we have i'm going to go ahead and show all the skins of these dinosaurs that we have with the um skins basically and i'm also going to showcase some other stuff as well so let's go ahead and get right into it so first one is the broad mother and as you can see this is the triceratops halloween skin now it's related to a spider and i really do love this, this is like my favorite one out of all of them and i think it looks really good like this model just looks amazing now it does have custom roids but i don't want to add that in as it would take forever and this is kind of like my second time redoing this video because it was too long and then my mic was cutting me off for some reason um so if you guys want me to do a different kind of showcase where i would do one dinosaur or skin whatever you guys want to call it and then do the next and just put them in separate videos because it would solve the issue if you guys want to see everything on this dinosaur um but anyway this dinosaur is really cool again it's just all the stats are the same diet's the same it just has a different design sounds and animations also there is the dodos as you can see right over there there's the dodos i just want to showcase actually i could go attack it even though i don't need one because i have all of them it looks like no one's else attacking them so we're going to just attack this dodo um okay i was about to say why am i not attacking it so he dropped some things doesn't look like he dropped any crates but those guys are attacking that dodo feels so bad for the dodos they have been dying so much in this um this update so the next one is the ankylosaurus i think that's yeah ankylosaurus and it's a skin from the halloween event it kind of has like a fungus kind of skin and i really do like it if we can actually hold up there we go look at his eyes though i noticed this like a while ago it was so weird but yeah his skin is based on a fungus kind of um plant oh no plant whatever they're called i don't even know um but yeah the model looks absolutely amazing now this isn't my favorite one this has to be my least favorite because i mean i don't really no i just don't like it that's like the only reason why it's my least favorite is because i don't like it it's not that the model's bad or the design's bad or anything it's just i don't like it because there's other ones that are more appealing to me and yeah that's kind of what it is reason for it uh again it doesn't have any different stats or anything it's just the design skins i mean the design animations and probably the roars as well are different on this guy and that's kind of all that they have for it so the next thing we have is the brachiosaurus and this is the infected brachiosaurus which is a skin for it also this one right there that's a pretty skin gut by the way if you are looking watching this and you're the person um so yeah you attacking me oh he's trying to get on me 
Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, as you can see here, we have the infected Brachiosaurus. It's kind of like a zombie. Now, this is my second favorite because of how it's designed and the model is just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I think like the animations are kind of the same on this guy for the other ones. I don't necessarily know if there's custom roars or not because I don't really play the Brachiosaurus more as much other than just doing this, like showcasing basically. But yeah, the design looks absolutely amazing. I really do love it. And I also noticed there's a crouching. And I never knew there was animations for crouching. It's kind of like sneaking in a way, but still, I never knew that was actually a thing until like yesterday. So I think that's going to be it for the Brachiosaurus. Now we're going to move on to the other, what was it, four of them. And I think that will be it. And then we'll go on to the patterns, which is another thing as well. So the next one is the Spinosaurus and we have the Ancient Spinosaurus. We also have a husk and a default pattern for this um, skin. Now what's different is basically this is also based on mummies. So the default one is the like Emperor basically or I think it's called Emperor or Empress. I don't know. As you can see we have its little I can't remember because I'm so bad at memory, but it has this little thing on its chin that they would normally have. It has the crown and it has some of these little dots on its back. Now the husk one isn't like that, it's just a normal mummy. So that's kind of the difference with those two and there's not really much to show as those are just completely the same except for three things that have been changed on there. Um, and I really do like this guy, he looks absolutely amazing like this would go in my third favorites of the halloween event because it just looks so good um again all the animations for these guys so far are absolutely go golden i said godlin go golden because they all fit the my, the skins pretty well they look really good and yeah that's kind of all we have for the spinosaurus um there's not really much else to show about this guy other than he's just a mummy wrapped in a or a Spinosaurus wrapped in mummy skin. So the next one is the Patchy, which we have the Patch O Lantern, which is the skin. You can also get this one as well with a different pattern as well. And by the way, I want to say if you guys want to unlock these patterns, it's like 10 candy each. So you got to go to the patterns of this um, whatever dinosaur you want. Go to here and it will be here and you can unlock it. I wish I kept the one so I can actually record myself unlocking it to show you. But you want to click on them if they have like a little pumpkin right here and then like chains. And then it will say do you want to unlock this for 10 pieces of candy. Now this one is pretty interesting. That's why I kind of wanted to spend a little more time on this one. As you can see we have the Patro Lantern and this guy is based on a pumpkin. And as you can see his face just keep an eye on it because the skin is kind of different but also kind of the same. So as you can see, we have like pumpkins on him. His tail, I'm pretty sure is a pumpkin. Can I make him walk, please? Yeah, that's kind of like a pumpkin on the back of his tail. Really cool looking. But now we're gonna look at the Sinster, which is the other pattern for this patch o' lantern. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And this one's like one of my favorite skins. That's why I'm taking a little bit more time to look at it. Look at that. That's just so much am more amazing. Like, I just can't. But as you can see, we have stitches across his face now. We have more of a hat kind of look with a lantern on the back of it. We also have a claw right here on his right side. Yeah, I was trying to see which side that was because I was kind of angled weird. Then we have, it's like, instead of a pumpkin on its back, we have kind of like a claw just like this one on its right side. I really do love this guy. This is like my favorite one. And I feel like this one, the sense is better than the Patro Lantern itself. Also, I did want to say a reminder, this is only part one, I'm pretty sure. So there's other stuff coming like the Iguanodon. And I think there's also one for the, uh, I don't even know. I think it was the ink. No, I don't know what it was. It was just one of them. But we do have patterns for other ones that don't have skins. As you can see, we have the concave native with a wizard skin. So I'm going to go ahead and show it in this because I don't really want to spawn and then unspawn. So it, it takes a, a little bit. I like this one a lot because he has a beard. Like you don't see a dinosaur every day having beards. Like that's so funny. To me it is. Um, yeah, he's kind of like a wizard. He has a book on his side. He has some potions. He also has like a potion at the very end. And he has like a hat and a beard of course. You can't forget the beard. Um, I'm going to actually use that. Okay, we're going to have some 
glowing eyes. And there's also some extra colors from the event that you can buy with candy if you guys really wanted to. Again, I'm pretty sure these are limited, so you cannot unlock these after the Halloween event. The next one is the kind of tourist. Now, this one is pretty interesting. It's a bloodthirsty one, which is based on a bat. And I honestly am kind of confused on why the wizard and the bloodthirsty kind of boy, I mean Kano, is a pattern and not a skin because they look like full-blown skins. But I'm not going to question it because, I mean, I can, I can understand the Sinsta one, which is the Patro Lantern skin, because it's kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit changed up. But these guys are like totally changed from the Kano. But as you can see, we have a bat-like feature as he has like ears right here. His eyes, I think, are a little bit different and his front part is like a bat, kind of. And we also have little wings instead of little arms. And we have this thing, which I'm pretty sure is on a bat as well. And we kind of like dots on him as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, there's not really much else that changed on him other than those little details. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite thing about today's update was. Sorry if I kind of like rushed it. Of course, a meteor. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but this always happens to me. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Tell me what's your favorite thing about the update. Sorry if I kind of rushed it. Um, I didn't want to take too long as my last video because I did like... I had to redo I had to redo this like two times at least. And the reason was because my microphone was cutting out and it was also very long. It was like 20 minutes long and that's a little bit too long for just a update. So if you guys want me to do a new kind of way of showcasing which is showcasing one of the skins in one separate video so then I can get every single little detail about that skin or that dinosaur in that video and not have to worry about time or you want me to keep doing it the way I'm doing it right now just let me know in the comments because I'm not sure what you what you guys want me to do of course I'll still use my voice in the separate videos but it's just going to be about one dinosaur which is going to cause a lot of videos to come out about the update if there's a lot of dinosaurs in it that's the only concern I really have but I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya Thank you.